Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Computing Series and today we'll be learning about system models for distributed and cloud computing. Yes, see, distributed and cloud computing systems are built over a large number of autonomous computer nodes. That is, these systems are made up of many independent computers working together, right? Then these model machines are interconnected by SANS, LANs or WANs in a hierarchical manner. That is, these computers are connected in layers using a networks like local area network, storage area network or a wide area network. Then a few LAN switches can easily connect hundreds of machines as a working cluster. That means with the LAN we can group hundreds of computers to form a one big system. Yes, a WAN can connect many local clusters to form a very large cluster of clusters. That is, see, WAN helps connect many small groups into one huge system. Yes. One can build a massive system with the millions of computers connected to edge networks. Means we can build the systems with the millions of computers linked through edge networks. Then massive systems are high scalable and can reach a web scale connectivity. Means these systems can easily grow bigger and connect across the internet. Yes. Then next is See, these are the four types of systems. See, this table compares different types of parallel and distributed computing systems, yes. So, the first one is computer clusters. Connect the many computers to work together and often in a local area network or a wide area network or are organized hierarchically. Here, nodes are uniform or are centrally managed and run high performance tasks and these are used for search engines, web services and computing like Google search or IBM Roadrunner. Then second one is peer to peer networks. See they connect client machines directly over a network and there is no central control. Yes, each node can act as a client or a server or a self organized. Then. It is good for file sharing, content delivery and social networking. Then third one is computational grids. See they link clusters across the networks for a big computing tasks. And here are resources like centralized control, authenticated access and often for a distributed supercomputing. And these solve big problems like a global computing or a data centers. Then fourth one is cloud platforms. See, they use many servers in data centers connected via service level agreements. And they support a web search, utility computing and outsourced services. For example, like Google App Engine, IBM Cloud, AWS or a Microsoft Azure. And then, See, these systems can involve hundreds, thousands or millions of nodes. That is, each type of system sir, can have a few to millions of connected computers working together. Yes. See, the nodes work collectively, cooperatively or collaboratively at different levels. Yes. Collectively means performing tasks together. Yes. Then cooperative means sharing some work. The next is See, clusters are used in supercomputers to solve very complex problems quickly. See, nearly 84% of the world's most powerful computers in a 2009 use the clusters to perform a high speed computing. The next is, see clusters have laid the foundation for a building a large scale grids and clouds. That means clusters help create the basic structure systems like computing grids and clouds. Then peer-to-peer -peer networks are useful in businesses like file sharing but they have problems with the illegal file sharing and security. Then next is 
See, many national grids were underutilized due to lack of reliable middleware or a well-coded applications. That means some large grid systems uh, built by governments were not used much because software was not reliable and applications were not well developed. See, cloud computing is a cheaper and easy to use for users who just need to connect and use it and for providers who can manage everything efficiently. 